Saint Maximilian Kolbe, Apostle of Mary and Martyr of Love. In 1894, in the humble town of Zdunska Wola, Poland, Ryman Kolbe was born. Like many boys, he was full of life and mischief, often earning gentle reprimands from his mother. But one day, at the age of 12, after a particularly stern scolding, Ryman's demeanor changed. Concerned, his mother asked what troubled him. With trembling lips, he revealed, I prayed to Our Lady to know my future. She appeared to me, holding two crowns, one white for purity and one red for martyrdom. She asked if I would accept them. This divine vision set Ryman on a path of unwavering faith. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you. At 13, he joined the Conventual Franciscans Minor Seminary, and in 1910, he became Brother Maximilian. His journey eventually took him to Rome, where he and his friends founded the Militia Immaculate, dedicated to total consecration to the Virgin Mary. He once remarked, if anyone does not wish to have Mary Immaculate for his mother, he will not have Christ for his brother. Building Cities of Faith Ordained in 1918, Father Maximilian returned to Poland with a mission. He established a monthly magazine and a printing press to spread devotion to the Mother of God. Despite contracting tuberculosis, his zeal remained unshaken. By 1927, his efforts had grown so much that he founded Nipokotlanau, city of Mary, outside Warsaw. This city, he insisted, was not his but hers. Driven by faith, he asked his superior for permission to spread the mission further. His destination? Japan. His sustenance? The Blessed Mother has her plan ready. In 1931, on a hillside near Nagasaki, he founded Mugenzai no Sono, another city of Mary. Despite warnings about the location, Father Maximilian's faith proved prophetic. When the atomic bomb devastated Nagasaki 14 years later, the friary, shielded by the hills, stood firm, offering refuge to the injured. A beacon of hope in war. Returning to Poland in 1936, Father Maximilian resumed his work amidst the brewing storm of World War II. As Germany invaded Poland in 1939, his friary became a sanctuary for refugees, including many Jews. By 1941, his beacon of faith and humanity drew the ire of the invaders. Arrested and sent to Auschwitz, he became a prisoner 16,670. Despite the horrors, he remained a source of peace, hearing confessions and offering comfort. Hate is not creative, he whispered. Only love is creative. During his time at Auschwitz, his unwavering faith became a light for others. He once said, For Jesus Christ I am prepared to suffer still more. His life was a testament to his belief that we go to the glory of the resurrection by way of suffering and the cross. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and God bless you.